Okay, so in today's lesson, we're looking at calculating the area of parallelograms and trapeziums. So here's our starter, times table starter as usual. So while you're working on it, pause the tape. Welcome back. So let's uh, mark your own. So I want you to think back now to when we looked at the area of a rectangle and we just said well it was the base labeled b here multiplied by the height labeled h so let's firstly look at a parallelogram then so if i was to just cut that triangle out of my rectangle and i'm going to get rid of it and then Put it on the other side there. That shape we've got there is a parallelogram. And if we just move these lines over, we can see that length there, which we've labeled B, is still the same. And we haven't lost any area because all we've done is move that yellow triangle over from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So the area is exactly the same. So that tells us then that the area of our parallelogram is just the base times the height. But remember, it is the vertical height. So we have any, this is our vertical height here. Something like this here, our slope sides, right? We don't take them into account at all when we are looking at area. If we were measuring perimeter, we'd want to know the size of these sides here. But for area, we're just interested in our vertical height here. So from the top to the bottom. So let's have a look at a couple of examples of parallelograms. So we've got this parallelogram here, base of five centimeters and vertical height of seven centimeters. Remember, and again, we're not interested in the length of these slope sides. So all we're gonna say is we know the area is equal to the base multiplied by the height base here is 5, the height is 7, so from our times tables we should know that 5 times 7 is 35. And then we look at the question we've been given, we've got lengths in centimetres, so our area is in centimetres squared. So let's have a look at the, another example. Okay, so we've got another parallelogram here, base 2.5 millimetres and height 8 millimetres. So we know that we've got area is the base multiplied by the height. So we've got 2.5 multiplied by 8. Now, if you don't know that off the top of your head, that's perfectly understandable. All you would do is forget about the decimal point for a moment, and partition that into 20 and 5 multiplied by 8. So we know 8 times 2 is 16 and add a 0. 8 times 5 is 40. Okay, so all together that would give us 200. So we need to put that decimal point back in there. So our final answer is 20. Okay, so look at the question. We've got length given in millimetres. So our area is in millimetres squared. 
Okay, so site heading main task one. So we've got the first four just finding the area. The second part is a little bit more complicated. So we're given the area, we've got to find out one of the lengths. And then we've got question three. We've got two quite tricky challenge questions there. So while you're working on them, pause the tape and then we'll come back with the answers. Welcome back. So let's have a look at the answers to these. Okay, so just mark in your own and then we'll have a look at, um, oops, we'll have a look at trapeziums. So again, we're remembering that we know what the area of a rectangle is. We've got the base times the height. So similarly, if I was to just take off these triangles, just get rid of them. And we've obviously lost some area now. And now we're interested in what this length is here. So really important that you copy this down because it's a little more complicated. It gives us an extra job to do in our calculations. But if we remember what the formula is, the area of the trapezium is half of the top times the bottom, uh, add bottom, all multiplied by the height. Should be fine. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. So here we go. Here's our first one. So remembering that our area is. Our area is one half multiplied by, let's open our brackets now, the top plus the bottom multiplied by the vertical height again. So again, when we're thinking about area, we're not really worried about our any other sides, just the vertical height. So we've got a half multiplied by, so eight plus 12 is 20 multiplied by six. So I can see that two times six is 12 and add that zero, so we've got 120. So half of 120 is 60. So let's look at our question. We've got lengths in meters. So our area must be in meters squared. Let's look at our next example. So we've got this trapezium here. And remember it again, we've got our area is the it's a half multiplied by the top, which is two, plus the bottom, which is seven, multiplied by the vertical height, which is five. So we've got a half multiplied by, well, two plus seven is nine, multiplied by five. We write that, now we've got one half you know, nine times five is 45. So half of 45 is 22.5 or 22 and a half. Let's look at our question. We've got lengths in centimeters. So we've got an area in centimeters squared. So side heading now, main task two. 
Okay, so here they are getting harder as we go along. So while you're working on them, pause the tape and we'll come back and have a look at the answers. Welcome back. Okay, so side heading, oops, let me finish. Side heading checking question. Side heading checking question. We've got this shape here, this hexagon. It's a regular hexagon. And let's see if we can calculate the area of it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just look at just half of the shape here. Okay. So I know I've got a base height of seven. This must be three as well. And my height must be here, half of the six centimeters. So that must be three centimeters as well. Okay. So, because I'm just looking at one trapezium now, I can say that the area of that one trapezium is a half. One half multiplied by three plus seven multiplied by three. So if we rewrite that now, it's one half, three plus seven is obviously 10 multiplied by three. And I also know now that 10 plus three is 30. But if we look here, we've got another parallelogram that's exactly the same size as the first one. So we're not interested in half of it. We want the whole thing. So the area of the whole shape is going to be 30 centimetres squared. Okay, so thank you very much. I will speak to you soon.